friends and welcome to Little Woods Art. Today I'm going to show you how to paint this cute watercolor mouse using a lot of heart shapes. So what you'll need are some watercolors, paint brushes, water, and some heavier paper like sketchbook paper or mixed media paper. Let's get started. I'm going to choose a medium brush and as you can see my brush has a tip. That really helps with watercolor. You want a brush with a tip if you have one. So get some water. And the first thing we're gonna do is paint the mouse's head. So you wanna start with the point of the heart. We're gonna come down. We're not even gonna use a pencil today. We're just gonna paint with the paint. We're gonna make a heart that's pointed at a diagonal, okay? Next is the body. So come down to the bottom of the head. Curve it around, make a heart. It doesn't have to be perfectly even. And that's gonna be the body. And then we're gonna do the tail. So the tail, you just get a little more gray, or if you wanna put a pink tail, you could. Come to this part of the heart, and then just zoop out a tail. Now we're not gonna paint the eyes and nose and all that till this dries. So while that's drying, Let's go over and paint some of these flowers. And if you notice, there's four hearts and the tips are all in the center. So pick whatever color flowers you want. I'm gonna do pink. And you're gonna make the heart again, starting at the bottom. And I'm gonna put them opposite of each other and I'm gonna try using two colors. Cause I think that'd be fun. Okay. Maybe I'll take this color. And when you paint with watercolor, you don't want the watercolor to touch. You wanna to leave a little bit of white in between because if the colors, the wet touches another wet color, they will blend together. And that is actually a technique called wet on wet. And actually we will use that when we paint the butterflies. Okay. So that's how you make the flower. And you can make them any color, you can make them just um, one certain color. And then get some green and you can curve it down like this. And then I thought the leaves could even be a heart shape. So then fill that in. And you can make a bunch of these. You can see I made three. Right here I'll just do one. Okay, while well that's drying, let's do a butterfly. Now the butterflies are fun because you can make them any color you want. So let's say I want to make an orange butterfly. Again, find the spot that you want to put it in. And we're going to do a heart. So I'm going to make the hearts to the side. And a heart over here. I'm going to paint them yellow. And then I'm gonna show you this technique. It's called wet on wet. So you can see how that's yellow, but I'm gonna take a little drop of red and just drop it right there and see how it spreads out and it makes a really cool pattern. You don't have a lot of control. Now let's say you accidentally painted your things too close together and they started to run together and you didn't want that. Take a Kleenex and just Stop the spread, just soak it up. All right, with watercolor, you have to just sometimes go with the flow because it doesn't always do what you want. Let's do one more butterfly, maybe a little purple one. And we'll put this one over here. I love spring. Spring is such a fun time of year. Right now, it's winter here, and so I'm dreaming of spring. Put some more dots in there. Now before we add the bodies of the butterfly, we're gonna let that dry. But you come back to the mouse, looks like he's pretty dry. So we're gonna get some black, and we're gonna paint his nose, okay? And he's got kind of like sleepy eyes because he's sniffing the flower. We'll just do that, and then some whiskers, 
Now you want a really light touch with your brush, otherwise you'll get a really thick whisker. All right. And then always wash your brush out in between colors. And now we're gonna put some pink in the ears. Put some pink there, and some pink there. If you want your colors darker, add more paint. If you want them lighter, add more water. And there's that cute little mouse. All right, my butterflies are still a little wet, so while they're drying, I'm gonna just add some grass. So an easy way to add some grass, you can use a technique where you just kind of Tap with your brush. Tap, 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 tap. And this is kind of fun. Now remember, if you touch another wet color, it will kind of smear together. So I'm just going to tap in some green. You don't need to put every blade of grass unless you want to. And then I'm going to tap in a little yellow. See, some of those kind of mix together, but it just makes a lighter green. And then I'm going to take a little bit smaller brush. So if you notice, this one's quite a bit smaller to do the butterfly bodies. Just go in, take a little bit of black. Now they still might be a little wet, but we'll try it. Paint a line in the middle. And then very light touch. Add a couple. That one got a little thick, but that's okay. Add a couple little antenna. And there you have it. A cute little mouse made out of hearts. I hope you had fun today. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, Little Woods Art, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.